Hey guys, it's Amanda Panda, and today is Fan Custom Friday, where I pick one of my fans' custom OC ponies, and I make it in real life on my channel. And this month's winner is Cleo. Cleo was submitted to me on Instagram by Delilah and Sarah. Cleo is a thousand-year-old mummy that just woke up with the help of a magical spell. Cleo can see into the future and create sandstorms. Cleo is very kind and oftentimes she gives her friends golden treasures. So let's get started making Cleo. I'm going to use Rarity's body as the base for Cleo, starting off with a little bit of acetone and I'm going to remove her cutie mark and her eyelashes. Cleo's going to get a beautiful head of black hair, so I need to remove Rarity's hair. I'm taking the head and twisting it firmly and sharply to the side until it pops out of the neck plug like that. Now I'm going to take some large scissors and cut off the bulk of Rarity's hair and then switch over to some smaller scissors and cut the hair even shorter, trying to get as close to the scalp as I possibly can and I did recently get some new little tiny scissors so I'm going to try them out today for the first time and these are a lot harder than my little pink ones so I think I might actually switch back to them but there it is taking my exacto knife now and I am cutting around that neck plug very very carefully and I'm going to pull that neck plug out with my pliers And now I have access to the hair roots and all of the glue. Grabbing my little pliers, I'm going to reach in there and pull out all of those hair roots and clumps of glue. So this is the last step in prepping the head. Now it's time to work on the body. I've already cut around this neck plug with my X-Acto knife. I'm going to take my scissors and cut off the bulk of the tail. This just makes it easier to pull the tail through the tail hole. So I'm going to grab my pliers again, reach in there, and pull out the remaining nubbin of tail and little metal washer that's inside. If you don't have pliers, you could always use tweezers. Now this pony is ready for customization. Let's take a look at Delilah and Sarah's drawing one more time. On here it says that Cleo is white with the golden sheen. So I'm going to take this gold metallic folk art acrylic paint, water it down, and give the pony body two very very thin coats of gold paint. And that should give Cleo a beautiful golden sheen. Now I'm going to paint the head. That gold paint is all dried. It's time to start working on Cleo's eyes. Cleo has gorgeous almond shaped eyes with a winged eyeliner look to them. So I'm going to go in with some white acrylic paint first and paint in the whites of her eyes. Then I'm going to go in with gold acrylic paint. This is not watered down. It's just regular acrylic paint and paint in the color of her eyes. And then go in with some black. And I'm also going to use black to draw in her eyeliner, which was covered with paint earlier. So I'm just going to follow that same line that is peeking through the paint. Switching back to white, and I'm going to give her two light reflections. And these eyes are so 
beautiful. It's time for her eyebrows. So Cleo has some bold arched eyebrows. So I'm just going to draw those in. Cleo also has some blue eyeshadow. So I'm taking some light blue acrylic paint and I'm going to give her some eyeshadow. Now I'm taking some white acrylic paint and I am repainting her horn white and then I'm going to go back in with gold acrylic paint and give the horn a solid stripe so that way it looks just like the drawing. This is the last detail on the head. So once the paint has completely dried, I'm going to give it a really thick top coat to seal all of my work in. And once the top coat has completely dried, it is time to give Cleo her hair. For her hair, I'm using Black Magic from dollyhair.com. It is a really pretty, brilliant black, so it's very shiny. And this is what I'm gonna be using for her hair and her tail. I'm gonna cut it into sections that are one quarter the original length and then I'm going to use my rerouting tool here from dollyhair.com catch some of that hair at the tip of the pronged needle and since it is a needle it is very sharp so you just choose what hole you want to put that hair plug in press down and just like that that first plug is in you can see where it's anchored itself on the inside of the head and you're just going to repeat that process over and over again until cleo has a full set of hair now Cleo does have bangs so once I get to the front of the head I am actually going to cut my hair one more time and make it one eighth the original length so I'm going to take those quarter pieces cut them in half again and use that for the bang area. So Cleo's hair actually has some golden highlights to it. So I have this metallic gold tinsel that I bought from Amazon. I'll put a link down below. And what I'm going to do is I am actually going to root some of this golden foil directly into the pony's head just like this and I'm going to give her probably like four strands on each side to give Cleo her highlights and that looks really really pretty this is the first time I've actually used any type of metallic hair now I'm going to secure all of my hair using some no sew glue I'm pouring a generous amount directly inside of the head and then I'm using a q-tip to evenly distribute that glue throughout all of those little plugs of hair and I'm going to let this completely dry and by doing that we are securing all the hair so if you tug on it it shouldn't fall out now it's time to start working on cleo's body so cleo's body has the eye of horus as her cutie mark so i'm just going to freehand this in using some black acrylic paint and the eye of horus is really cool it's the ancient egyptian symbol of protection royal power and good health so that is a really cool cutie mark to have she also has three stripes at the bottom of her hooves and it is blue red and gold so i'm just going to freehand those stripes in using some acrylic paint here Once all the paint has completely dried, I'm going to give the body a thick coat of sealant to seal all of my work in. And once it has completely dried, it's time for her tail. For Cleo's tail, I have a little bunch of hair here. It's a mixture of the black and gold, and I have it twist tied together. I'm going to take this twist tie, put it into the tail hole, and then use my pliers to pull that hair about halfway through. Now now I'm going to remove the twist tie and replace it with a zip tie. Be sure that you tighten the zip tie as tight as you possibly can because if you don't, this hair could get loose and pull through when you're playing with the pony. Thank you. 
Now I'm gonna take my scissors, snip off the excess, and pull that tail through. And just like that, Cleo has her cute little tail. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of Gorilla Glue and glue the neck plug back into the body. And I'm going to let that glue set a little bit and then start working on Cleo's necklaces. For her necklaces, I'm going to use some Sugru and I'm gonna roll that Sugru out into a long, thin line. And I'm going to place those directly on to the pony body. So here's the long, thin line here. And Cleo has a neck full of necklaces. It is so pretty. I love the styling. So I'm going to see how many necklaces I can fit on here. The drawing has seven necklaces. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to fit that many. I'm going to let all this Sugru dry overnight and then paint the necklaces red, blue, and gold. Let's check out the completed custom. Here is Cleo the Mummy Pony. And she is stunning. The golden tinsel in her hair is just so cool. Like I said, first time that I use tinsel and I love it. Delilah and Sarah, I hope you love this pony as much as I do. And if you would like to see your pony made on Fan Custom Friday, it definitely could happen. Stay tuned till the end of the video for all of the details. Thank you so much for watching Little Pandas. Until next time, bye. Want to see your OC Pony made in real life? It could happen. Submit a drawing of your OC Pony along with a short story about him or her directly to me and be sure to include your OC's name. Once a month, I will randomly choose a pony to create in real life on my channel. Anyone can enter no matter where you live and it is completely free. There is no charge to submit your pony and there is no charge to make it if you win. I'll even mail you the finished pony as long as you have a valid mailing address. I ship worldwide and of course shipping is free. Here are the Fan Custom Friday rules. 1. You must be a subscriber to this channel, so submit your YouTube name along with your OC so I can verify. And if you are underage or your parents do not let you have a YouTube channel, no problem. Just let me know when you submit your pony. And two, if you are under 18, please ask your parents' permission before entering the there giveaway. There are three different ways to submit your OC Pony. You can either message me on Facebook or comment on my Facebook page, facebook.com backslash mandapandatoycollector. You can message me on Instagram at mandapandatoycollector or you can mail me your drawing and your story to mandapanda P.O. Box 2855 Humble, Texas 77347. Just a reminder, Fan Custom Friday is intended to encourage your imagination and creativity. So please avoid plagiarizing other people's works from websites such as DeviantArt and Google.